What's up guys, Zach here, and welcome to another old game of mine. Three Puzzles is the game, and this was actually created in my most recent years of being a game developer, and I know the reason why this game never took off was because of the fact that I had no structure really to back it up. Um, I had a cool idea for a puzzle game, right? So this is a puzzle game. And I really had the main mechanics sorted out, but I didn't have any puzzles to back it. I didn't really uh, understand it and truly go on paper and say, okay, how much can I get out of this one mechanic? So I made the mistake a lot of game developers and designers make is I jumped right into the project. I didn't make a, I didn't prototype anything out. I didn't write down any puzzles or anything like that. I jumped right into the final product focused solely on art to begin with, which was a mistake. You know, besides maybe this temporary door that I created, you can always tell which art is mine and <laughs> what's not. Um, but uh, yeah, so this is three puzzles. The title kind of comes from the mechanic of the game where you have, you know, multiple uh, sort of uh, worlds that you can get into, and the game uses a lot of. Uh, well, the main mechanic is called your emotion, right? So. Here we have our character, so I can roam around just in this sort of this room here. You really have no other option but to go to the door. So we'll go to the door, and here it brings you into this next room. And we have some dialogue in the game. I don't remember this place at all. And here, I guess I hit space, and it showed me how to jump up there. Now, if I were to go back and uh, revamp this game, you know, one thing would be that I'm not going to put a space bar toggle in front of the player's head. I think most gamers these days know, oh, here's a ledge. One of these keys will make me jump. And they can figure that out on their own. I don't need to tell them. The game kind of aids you in that way, right? Which I don't like. Okay, so here's the next one. It says, this jump seems to be pushing my agility limit. So, yep, I can't jump up it. If only I could release my innermost self to help me complete this jump. And it should be fading in, I believe. I don't know why it's not fading in. Press Enter key to spawn your emotions. Okay, so if we go ahead and you can see in the bottom left now, we have a uh, little guide. And it says, move and position your emotions to aid you with this jump. So if I hit Enter, it kind of brings me into this new little world where I now have this character I can jump around with. And, you know, he's much faster. You can jump higher and all that stuff. And I hit Enter to... Uh, get out of it as you can see we can now move around this guy but it now replays all of the actions that we've already done which is pretty cool so if I hit enter again I can bring this guy over here I can then use this guy to go to the next zone all right so here's the next room so now we have two of these jumps so what I can do is I can press enter, I can bring my motion here, kind of wait for a second, bring him over here, wait for a second, and then stop, right? So now if I move my guy, I can now use him to jump, and then jump on this guy here. Go to the next room. So here, and of course, <laughs> we have a, uh, a locked uh graphic that was made by me of course and it looks like these ramps aren't um, fitting the color or the uh, art scheme but anyhow you get the you get the gist of it so here we have a switch and if you step on the switch it opens up the door so now we're introducing switches and now we're introducing the fact that your emotion can use this switch so if I bring him down here I can now go in, into the door so now it's showing two switches, right? So this switch takes off that lock, this switch takes off that lock. So you have to kind of time it correctly. So I'm gonna hit enter. So I'm gonna go over here, wait a second, come over here, and then wait a second. So now I can time it to get into here, and then to the door. So these are pretty simple puzzles, but they're just kind of teaching you the uh, mechanics of it. And the whole idea for this was that you, there were going to be different emotions in the game, right? So you're sort of this lost boy in this world, and you uh, don't really know where you're going or 
how it's affecting you, but you have these emotions that you can use that are powerful that can help you get out of this world, right? So here we see, you know, I can't, you know, I can't, uh, I can't walk on these blocks here, but they're glowing green in my emotion screen. So that tells me that if I hit enter, my emotion can walk on these, right? So if I go here, and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna sort of walk across it here. And then with my guy, let me see if I can follow him. There we go. Into the next room. All right, so here now we've taken the two mechanics of the switch and the green block, and we've now mixed them together. So here you have these switches. You've already seen that puzzle where you have to time it correctly. Um, but, uh, but you have these green blocks in the way. You don't really know how they affect you. So you can't really get over this. So you have to do this here. And then you know what? I don't even know how to do this. So it's sort of reversed. So I think what you need to do is um, we need to step here, wait while I get over there, jumps up on here and ends there. All right, so we'll get here and ba boom, there we go. So as what's this, now I now have the power of two motions, right? So now you have, you can control two emotions. So here we take this guy, and let's see if we can bring him here. Okay, oh, I guess I gotta wait for that to finish. And now we can spawn another guy right there. So now I'm guessing I can use both these guys to jump. All right, so now it's getting more tricky. I'm not actually sure how many levels I created here. So it looks like what I need to do is do this. So you will jump on this guy here and then Let's get rid of that. So you jump on this guy here. All right. And then this guy here. Oh, come on. Oh, come on, man. Okay, there we go. Now I can do have this guy come over here. I don't know if I can make that jump. No, I cannot. Let's see. Okay, so we've got that. Oh my god. I can play my game here. Okay. And I think I need to just jump down here. And then if I stop him. Oh. Can I make that jump? Oh. Yes, I can. All right. Cool. And I guess I'm floating here. Go to the door <laughs> and I guess that's it so uh, those were all the puzzles so go leave a like go and subscribe let me know the title of game of course the game was called three puzzles but uh, I guess this is a mock-up menu system that I was looking at creating but uh, yeah tell me what you think it's kind of a cool concept I didn't bring it out as much as I would like uh, but 
maybe I'll come back to it someday. Alright? Thanks for watching. Peace.